All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at Gartner Data and Analytics Summit in Orlando. I'm super excited to be here with Ronin, uh, who's the CEO at K2 View. Ronin, uh, not a new face to the Robert Show. Super excited to host you today. Hey, thank you, and a great, uh, great opportunity to see you. Always a pleasure. You're always at the right place at the right time. Thank you very much. It's a, uh, it's a no-brainer. We can't miss Gartner for sure, and uh, it's always good to see. Obviously, K2 View at the best places. Uh, in the conference circuit. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I know you just landed today, but uh, you've been talking to a lot of analysts. You've been meeting a lot of enterprise leaders. What's happening? What are people talking about? What are they talking around in terms of Gen AI and data? What are you listening? If last year was the first time that Gen AI became part of this conference or AI in general, before that it was always just data and analytics and now it is actually a lot about AI. This year I think a lot of the focus is shifting from the theory into the practice, into how can you take AI and Gen AI specifically mm -hmm. into production and how it will bring business value. So I think you're seeing that shift. Uh, you're also seeing, um, I think, shift in the, in, the, in the message in general about, nice. uh, about uh, AI very real, I think very real and really bringing value to the business. I think that's a very good point in terms of, uh, you know, making things real, making AI real. Uh, I know, you know, uh, maybe six months or eight months back when we were even talking, you were like, there are a lot of leaders who want to see the real use cases. And a lot of enterprises that you all work with, big names have been seeing big logos that you all have. Uh, you all have been, you know, showing that real maturity out there. What do you have to say in terms of uh, the, the customers? What are they thinking? How are they looking at the theme of things kind of getting real? And uh, what's the excitement there? Um, I think from a K2V perspective, we are seeing customer really looking into changing their engagement with the end customer. They're looking, can I actually give customer better value? Can I change the experience customer have, or the customer customers have in how they interact with me? Can I give them a better experience when I give them service? Can I give them better experience when they want to buy something? Can I give them better service solving their problems in a broader way? Mm -hmm. I think there is a major, major opportunity for every company to change their face and how they engage with their customers. So we are seeing these becoming from theory into practice. We are seeing human agents work with the AI agent together cool. to give be better service and we're even starting to see AI agent replacing or being the face of the company really improving the service. It's, it is real. It is real and uh, that is something what I love for sure. Uh, so uh, thanks for sharing that Ronin. I'm kind of also curious, uh, everyone here is talking about you know getting the data AI ready. Uh, what does it really mean and how does k 2 View kind of approach it differently? Uh, any thoughts on that? Yeah, so getting your, your data AI ready means that AI in general, whether it is machine learning, whether it's Gen AI, is able to leverage the enterprise data. If you think about it in a bigger, bigger picture, mm -hmm. LLM, you have a few leading LLMs. Enterprises are going to consume these LLMs and use them. The real differentiation a company will have is how they are able to leverage their data in order to give the customer, together with the LLM, a better experience, better value, etc. So I think there is a, there is a real uh, making data AI ready. Meaning it means that the data is able to help you interact with your customers. Here I think it's very important for people to notice two patterns. I think there are people that are still stuck in the old world, yep. meaning that data ready is all about, do I have the right data quality or do I have the, the right uh, data in my data warehouse? I think these are things that are very important, but are more in the old world, in the analytics world. For Gen AI, you need your data quality. You need, uh, you need your data in one place, but this is not enough. You need data in a conversational, uh, interface, meaning that you're con you're interacting with your data in sub-seconds, mm. in a conversation like you and I are having right now. You need your data queryable for any question that comes from any user, not just analytics expert, but actually nice. literally customers, um, customer support, human agents, everybody need to be able to interact with the data in sub-seconds. So getting data already means way more than the analytics world. Those are fantastic insights. Uh, Ronin, what I also want to ask you, since we are on this topic of getting the data 
AI ready, do you think data integration tools are kind of also picking up due to uh, this in the Gen AI space? What are your thoughts around that? So definitely data and integration in general is picking up, but there are very specific patterns of integration that will be more important. Mm. The real-time integration, how do I make data available in, at the time that, that the data is changing, available for AI, is going to be a major, major part. Yep. How can I get a complete view of the data? It's not enough just to move a few critical items or to master a few critical items, because in Gen AI, any question can come from anybody. So you need a very comprehensive data view. So that's going to be another area that is very, very critical as part of the integration. So my opinion is that the integration and data management world is rising, but also with specific patterns, not with all patterns. Mm. Specific patterns are more important than others. That's awesome. I think uh, that's a fantastic answer that you've kind of given. Also, kind of curious to know a little about, you know, the next uh, three to six months. What are you kind of seeing? Where is the Gen AI space moving? What are the folks you're talking about? And how do you see that shaping up? And how is K2V approaching that? I think a lot of the things that are that are happening right now in the LLM world are really about uh, the LLM becoming uh, smarter and able to think and do things that takes, uh, I think, more comprehensive. And as they do that, it actually gives you a huge opportunity to leverage a broader data set. Mm. On, on our side, what we're seeing is a true interaction with data. When you're able to ask multiple questions from multiple systems and aggregate all of that together into a complete into a complete answer. So I think there is a massive, uh, I'll call it like, um, massive advance in the core, mm. in the core uh, Gen AI technology, really enabling with the newer model a longer interaction with data, yeah. a longer thinking, and a more comprehensive one. And I think this will open even a bigger door for enterprises to use what they know about the customer in their backend system and really give the, cus the end customer more value. Very important. I think that value is something which is what all uh, you know customers are always looking out for, and uh, it is something which we are going to see in the next three to six months even getting better. Yeah. Um, let me highlight one more thing yeah, that is, sure. I think, becoming core. I think the concept of, uh, of agents, of Gen AI agent, is becoming a core way to deliver the value. Mm -hmm. So in many, many cases, what will happen is instead of everything running in a single process, you're basically going to run an agent, and this agent is going to do the work for you. Mm. In k 2 view case, what we are announcing uh, this week is basically a Gen AI data agent, an agent with sole focus on bringing the right relevant data from any backend system in real time, conversational latency, so that the, jet, the LLM interface, the chatbot, um, the, a, a, diff, a, a bigger orchestration of agent is going to be able to give the right answer based on the backend data. I love it. That's a fantastic announcement. First coming on the Robert Show. Excited yes. about that. Uh, yes. Data agent. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, are you all going to publish some blog or white paper around it as well? We, we can share it with our audience too. Yes, definitely. I think the blogs are coming out uh, as we are speaking. Okay, so awesome. uh, first on Ravi Cho, but also will be followed with uh, with blogs. I'm excited about that. Can't wait to see. Uh, those are fantastic insights, Ronin. Uh, anything else that you would like to tell our uh, community about, yes. about the Gen AI space? Yeah, so I think since this is uh, just announced here, I do want to recommend for people to... Uh, to join me also in a live session here at the Gartner at the Gartner event tomorrow Very at cool. eleven ten um, in Theater Three, just around the corner, uh, we will actually show a demo. We'll show how to create the data agent. We'll give a real customer in the telco space example, and. Um, Really in this show, what we're trying to enable customers to see, what we want them to really live is with the fact that you can ground your data with your, you can ground the AI with your enterprise data. Nice. Uh, yes, and this is kind of where we, we brought this coffee and a grinder, kind of a little bit of a, <laughs> a, I love game, it. Of, a game of words with grounding and grounder and, and grinder and, um, 
Yes, uh, please join us. Join us in the booth here in the event and also join us in the, in the demo in, uh, in Theater 3 tomorrow at 11.10. Absolutely. We love it uh, and we love the energy that KTVU has. Ronan, you always have something pretty interesting for the enterprise leaders out there and what you all are doing is pretty amazing. So thanks for sharing all the great insights and always such a pleasure hosting you. Hey, thank you for, for the opportunity to be here. I've been uh, more than 20 years in the in the data space and have never been as exciting as now. So great <laughs> to see you. Same here, Ronin. Hey, such a thanks. pleasure. Thank you everyone for joining us today.